these are some general facts that are researched. Um, coral reefs are built of colonies of tiny animals called coral polyps that stick to a rock and then begin to form the reefs. Uh, some coral reefs are barrier reefs because they block out predators from the out open sea. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is made up of 900 smaller reefs and a lot of fish plus sea creatures spawn in the coral reefs. And spawn means um, hatch eggs and be born there. Um, because the reef protects the eggs and the little uh, little fish from the out open sea. And the coral reefs can be started on old sunken ships. Sometimes the Navy sinks old ships to start new coral reefs. This is my coral reef food web that I found on a website and it shows what eats what. And you, as you can see, the reef shark is at the top of the food chain. Here are descriptions of my abiotics and biotics. I'm going to start with biotics that I s s separated into two large groups. Vertebrates uh, are animals that have backbones. Uh, and my second group is invertebrates are animals that don't have a backbone. Here are some of the vertebrates. I did fish, which are... Uh, two fish that I know live in coral reefs are butterfly fish and also parrot fish. And there's a lot of sea snakes that live in the coral reef. Um, there's 55 to 65 different species that live in the coral reef. Dugongs and manatees are really huge animals that are related to elephants. And a lot of sea turtles like to visit there often which are green sea turtles, hawkbill sea turtles, flatback sea turtles are and those are all uh, endangered species. And then my second group invertebrates animals that don't have backbones are sponges. They don't move, they are sedentary um, and it has three bo body forms, vase, tube, and uncrusting. And then I have ecoderms uh, which means skinny I mean, spiny skin, sea stars, mollusks, and there's also mollusks that live at the b bottom of the reefs, um, like snails, clams, and octopus, um, crustaceans, um, I mean crustaceans, sorry, um, are shrimp, lobster, and crabs, and some are and there are also polychaetes, with worms with bristles, um, which is a food source for other animals and help dead coral erode. Some, some move and some are sedentary. Um, and then for my abiotic, I put um, temperature, sunlight, biopsy. Um, is the force that makes you float or sink, uh, visca viscosity, uh, resist movement, and my fifth one is light penetration. Light penetrates about 20 meters underwater, salt, gases, and waters are the rest. I picked sea turtle for my niche and habitat because I thought it was a really cool animal. Uh, sea turtle's habitat is a reef near tropical and subtropical beaches so they can nest. A sea turtle's niche is eating sea grasses and jellyfish, controlling sponges, moving nutrients, which are the healthy part of food to feed other marine life. This is my predator versus prey that I thought was pretty cool because it relates to the food web we just saw a little bit ago. Um, the tiger shark eats sea turtles. The sea slug eats the sea sponges. Parrot feet, er, parrotfish eat benthic algae. 
sad the butterfly fish eat the sea anemones. Small scale scorpion fish eat the goby fish. Here are the lists of my scavengers and decomposers. Scavengers feed on dead organisms but not waste products. Here are some examples. Sharks, crabs, and decoder crabs. Here are the examples of decomposers. Decomposers break down dead organisms so that nutrients can be used. Fan worms, sea cucumbers, snails, crabs, and bristle worms. This is my climate and average precipitation of the coral reef. The climate near tropical and semi-tropical water is 70 to 85 degrees and the precipitation, average precipitation is 80 inches of rainfall per year. February is the heaviest rainfall month for the coral reef. These are the threats and endangered species to the coral reef. I thought this picture was cool because on the left side it shows what this, what will happen when stuff that isn't supposed to be in the coral reef and what's bad for it, what it looks like. And the right side is when it's, it's good and nothing's bad for it. Um, some threats to the coral reef are overfishing, pollution, pred pred predator starfish, too much sediment, species that don't belong there are living there, and some endangered species are sea turtles, a lot of different coral, reptiles, whales, sharks, dolphins, invertebrates, and a lot of other fish. I'm Jackson Posey, and thank you for watching my presentation on the coral reef.